Well, I'll answer your question, Daniel. Uh, one organization you missed is Kalahui Hawaii. Um, and so the answer is in the question that you asked. Until all the groups that you've named, including Kalahui Hawaii and any other community um, organization that is working toward um, an end, um, can come together and figure out what that direction is, uh, we'll continue to be where we are. And okay. so I do support uh, bringing all of the groups together and coming together to figure out what the direction is. Uh, what will it require? It will require a lot um, more education and a lot more of, um, you know, as Malcolm X said, you, you, you can't mobilize the sleeping people. And um, for a variety of reasons, um, the biggest reason is um, this system that we live in um, has forced us in a survival mode. Um, and many um, don't have the, the, the luxury of um, learning more uh, because knowledge is power. Um, and The history of oppression and disenfranchisement um, and colonization. Um, you know, the first step really is decolonizing your mind. And um, that's where education comes in. And um, that's something that uh, I've personally been working hard on with uh, my monthly town halls. I try really hard to um, be transparent and provide um, information to our community. I do my town halls every month or well, before the pandemic in person. Um, I also have them live on social media and uh, I have Akaku filming um, because we need to get more people engaged in what's going on um, get more people engaged in uh, the government and who's making decisions for them. Uh, so that's why I, I, I really appreciate um, this work that you're doing. Um, this is part of education, so mahalo. So your question is, does the council chair need to approve of uh, someone coming in to do a presentation? No, yes, but I think the question that you're asking is, if we have uh, leadership decision makers in our legislative body who will advocate on behalf of the people to ensure that more education and transparency and advocates for our community are in will make decisions on behalf of the community, then yes. You have to have that political will. You have to have um, council members that want change, that want um, to change the status quo. I mean, it, again, it goes back to the system. Those that benefit from the system in place are not going to change the system. So you need, you need leaders, you need elected officials who want to do right by the community.